Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 60. Class 60. Let's go! Beginner. All right, welcome to class 60. Not 16, 60. 60. 60. That's right, class 60. Moving along through the classes now. 60 classes, incredible. How often, how often do you speak English? Do you speak English every day? Do you speak English once a week? I speak English every day. I speak English every day, yes. I speak Spanish every day as well. But there are some things that I do once a week. I eat in a restaurant once a week. Or, well, more than that, twice a week. Dos veces por semana. Once a week. Una vez por semana. Una vez al mes. Once a month. Once a month. Once a year, una vez al año, once a year. I have a party in my house once a year, like I said yesterday, una vez al año. Dos veces por semana, twice a week. I teach my student, Francisco, twice a week. Yes. Dos veces al mes, twice a month. Yes. I have my program, The Verb Circus, twice a week twice a week. And some things I do twice a month. I go out with my friends. Yeah, I meet my, with my friends twice a month. My American friends, I would say. Twice a year. I said yesterday, I see my parents twice a year. I see my brother twice a year. Usually I see him at Christmas. And I see him usually in the summer either in Canada, or maybe sometimes he comes to visit me in Spain. Maybe I see him three times a year, two times a year, or possibly three times a year. Yes. Two or three times a year, I would say I see him. Okay, so, now, yesterday, we were practicing with years. We started to practice with years but I ran out of time. So now I would like to practice with a dictation of years. So remember, 1989. We pronounce the years a little bit differently. We, don't, we do not say 1,989. We say 1,989. 19, excuse me, ni, ni, just 19, 1989. 1989, 1945, okay, 2003, okay? So with the years that begin with 2000, we say 2003, 2009, 2010, okay? Now the years that end in double zero, we say 1900. 1800, 1700, okay? So now I will dictate some numbers, and I would like you to write them down. Apuntar, to write down. I'd like you to write down the numbers, and then you can read them back to me. Okay, the first year is 1802. 1802. And the second year, 1906. 1906. And the third year, 2001. And the fourth year, 1983. 1983. Okay. What was the first year? The first year was 18. O two one eight zero two eighteen o two, and the second number was nineteen 
o six nineteen o six and the third year was two thousand and one and the fourth year nineteen eighty three nineteen eighty three nineteen eighty three that was a good year yes nineteen eighty three hmm I will read four more years, so write these down. The first year, 1789, 1809, 1700, and 1987. In 1987, I went to Vancouver. I visited Vancouver for the first time. Hmm. So the first year was 1789. Very good. I hope, I hope you got that correct. The next year was 1809. The third year was 1700. And the fourth year, 1987. Mm. In 1987, I went to school. In my small town, yes. In 1986, I... No, in 1986, I went to Vancouver. Not 87. I went to Vancouver in 1986. Yes, it's true. 1986. Mm -hmm. uh, Vancouver had the Expo in 1986 that you had here in Spain in, 2000, in 1992. Yes. And Calgary, Ca Canada hosted the Winter Olympics in Calgary in 1988. And Canada is hosting again this year in February of 2010, hosting the Winter Games again, this time in Vancouver. Yes, Vancouver, just coming up very soon, February. Word of the day. All right, it's time now for our word of the day. Okay. Our word of the day today is flat. Flat. ¿Qué es plano? Flat. The table is flat. It's very flat and it's smooth. Yes, my desk is flat. Now be careful with the pronunciation. F-L-A-T, flat. T flat. Flat. You have to pronounce that hard T at the end, flat. I have a flat table. Yes, flat. Flat. That's our word of the day, to be flat, or it is flat. So this is the adjective, flat. It is a flat table. The floor is flat. Also, a tire can be flat if it has no air. If there's a hole in my tire and the air escapes... It goes flat, and you have a flat tire, and you have to replace the tire because it's flat. If you get a flat tire, I've never... Ah, uh, yes, I have had a flat tire once. I had a flat tire when I was driving in Ireland. I got a flat tire. I hit the curb. I, I ran against the, the side divider on the side of the road, and I got a flat tire. So we had to replace the tire. Yes, a flat tire. All right, now I would like to talk about four phrasal verbs. Yes, phrasal verbs. Now, before we talked about imperatives with the verbs levántate, siéntate, escribe tu nombre, y cosas así. We were practicing with those. Stand up. Sit down. Write your name. But now we will practice with phrasal verbs, with four phrasal verbs. Put on. Que es poner. Poner. Por, o ponerse ropa, por ejemplo. To, or to put on your watch. And the opposite. Quitar. To take off. So put on. Poner. Take off. Quitar. And now, put into, que es meter, 
And to take out of. Take out of, que es sacar. Okay. So now, tell me at home. Tell me to take off my watch. Tell me to take off my watch. Kyle, take off your watch. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're taking off your watch. You're taking off your watch. Yes, I'm taking off my watch. I'm taking off my watch. Estoy quitando mi reloj. I'm taking off my watch. Tell me to put on my watch. Kyle, put on your watch. Very good. Put on your watch. Okay. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? You are putting on your watch. I am putting on my watch. I'm putting on my watch. Yes. To put on. Poner. Or ponerse. To put on. I'm putting on my watch. Tell me to take off my watch again. Otra vez. Tell me to take off my watch again. Kyle, take off your watch again. Take off your watch again. Okay. What am I doing? You're taking off your watch. I'm taking off my watch. Tell me to put my watch into my pocket. Mi bolsillo. Tell me to put my watch into my pocket. Kyle, put your watch into your pocket. Repeat. Put your watch into your pocket. Okay, okay. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? You are putting your watch into your pocket. I, Kyle, I am putting my watch into my pocket. I'm putting my watch into my pocket. Okay. Y ahora, sí, que está dentro ahora. Tell me to take my watch out of my pocket. Kyle. Take your watch out of your pocket. Take your watch out of your pocket. This is a separal phrasal verb. We have take out of, pero, pero digamos your watch. Después del verbo, take your watch out of your pocket. Repeat. Take your watch out of your pocket. Okay, okay, estoy sacando. Mi reloj. I'm taking my watch out of my pocket. I'm taking my watch out of my pocket. I'm putting it back into my pocket. Put into. I'm putting it into. Meter. To put into. I'm putting my watch into my pocket. Tell me to take my watch out of my pocket. Take your watch out of your pocket. What am I doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? You are taking your watch out of your pocket. Tell me to put on my watch. Kyle, put on your watch. What am I doing? You are putting on your watch. Tell me to take off my watch again. Kyle, take off your watch again. Take off your watch. What am I doing? You are taking off your watch. Yes, I am taking off my watch. I'm taking off my watch. I'm putting my watch into my pocket. I'm taking my watch out of my pocket. I'm putting my watch back on. I'm putting it on again. I'm putting it back on. To put on, ponerse. I am putting on my watch again. Otra vez. I'm putting it on again. I'm putting it back on. Se dice back because it was already on. Okay? I'm putting it on again. I'm putting it back on. Okay? Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Now it is time for our vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word today is película. Which is in English? Movie. Movie. También se puede decir film. Film. For me, a film is a bit different than a movie. 
your student guide suggests that film is more British and movie is more American. I agree with that. But as a result of this tendency, I would tend to call películas that are created in Europe, which are typically more artistic, to be films. Whereas Hollywood makes movies. In my opinion, my personal opinion, Hollywood makes movies with Sylvester Stallone. Whereas a cleverly produced film, uh, in, in uh, a French film, for example, well, would, would be just that, a film. Maybe it's more artistic. Or someone like Woody Allen, whose, whose films are a bit more artistic. I, I, w I would call those films, whereas I would call the Hollywood blockbusters to be movies. Okay, so I have films and movies. Camino, carretera, road, road. Yes, the road. No, no, it's road, sino road. Number three, nieve, snow. There's snow on the road. Snow, snow. Mm -hmm. Sopa, soup, soup. I love soup. I like, I like soup a lot. Sorpresa, surprise, surprise. Okay, very good. So we have película, movie, or it can be film. Camino, carretera, road. Nieve, snow. Sopa, soup. And surprise. Okay, the next point we have is the translation list. However, we are running out of time. So I will finish. But tomorrow, in the next class, we will do the full translation list number eight. So be sure to review, well, in fact, study ahead with the translation list number eight. You can see it today on television. Study it, and then we will practice tomorrow in class. Same time, same place. Okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.